welcome back to my channel. I want to do my July BoxyCharm unboxing just so I can show you what you what I received in this month's box. Just like always, I'm going to do a try on of all the products that I receive in this box. Uh, just to start, when I open the box, it's uh, the normal hashtags, hashtag BoxyCharm and Hello Charmer. And this month they actually improved the presentation of the box by putting in this foam to uh, protect the products and keep them in place. Whereas normally they have this uh, shredded paper um, confetti, I guess you could say. So just to start, as always, the box comes with a card for the month. And this month's theme is Cutie Pie. And on the back it has the products that are in the box. So I don't want to look at that so it can be a surprise and the first thing that I see in the box is uh, this blink electric blink and boxy charm electric eyes palette and it has looks like it there's a few details on the back there's one five colors and this is how the colors look so I'm just going to do uh, swatches on my hand just so I can show you what the color payoff is and then I'm going to try it on my eyes. So, these shadows actually feel really creamy. Um, it kind of feels like they are a cream shadow. I think it's so similar to Colourpop I would say if I had to compare it to something. There are the swatches, and it has awesome pigmentation. This palette, like the shadows, I think I rubbed into each one about one, it was like one swipe, and this is how much product comes out. So I think that's really awesome. This pink one right here actually looks so, so beautiful. I'm impressed with the quality of the shadows, as well as the pigmentation. So I just want to try it out and I'm um, just going to use a few of the shadows so I can figure out which color I want to use. Lighter gold color right here. And that is amazing pigmentation. And it's really bright. It blends in really well. And it glides on like butter. I mean, I'm impressed. Okay, it's really good. And it's pretty easy to pick up the product with a brush. Um, I'm going to try it in just a second to see whether it applies better with my fingers or with a brush. Because I know a lot of times when they are cream shadows or similar to that formula, um, they do tend to apply better when you need to I'm going to apply that to the center of my lip. I want to build the look around it. So. so I like that palette. Again, these are the colors on the palette. And this is the um, swatches on my hand. So that palette, I'm pretty impressed, like I said, with the quality of the palette and the colors. As far as the price tag, the Electric Eyes palette, it looks like it's $45. That's a little bit pricey for a palette that has four colors in it. I mean, they're good quality, they're a good size, um, but Seeing as though a lot of brands, you can buy palettes with, you know, 20, 24 colors for about a couple dollars more, maybe even $20 more than that, but for five colors, when you compare it in that sense, it's not really worth it. It is a little bit pricey for that palette, so, we're, but I, I will admit that the colors are impressive and the formula is impressive, but the price tag is just 
too expensive. <laughs> um, the next product that I see in here is, um, it looks like it's a, it's a pencil, some type of pencil from Winky Lux. It's the eyebrow pencil. So here's the spoolie for it. And this is a great packaging that it has. Um, it has this design on there. It's like a white tube with gold metallic design. And the product is on this side. It seems like it's like a gel product, kind of like, um, like a pomade, but in a pencil form. So I'm just going to start out with brushing my eyebrows out and I'm just going to brush them upwards. I currently don't have anything on my eyebrows, so I just wanted to show you what I'm working with. That way we can see the difference once the product is on. So there's that and I'm just going to take a little bit of the product and I'm going to start feathering it up into my brow. So far it's gliding on pretty well. Um, I don't have to drag the pencil too much or press really hard. Um, it's kind of brushing on with no problem. So I like to draw it a little bit but I'm following the natural line of my eyebrows. Um, I don't want them to look too artificial or artificial at all, to be honest. Um, I want to just kind of fill in the areas where the hair is kind of black. Alright, so I filled that in and then I just like to go back in with my spoolie and blend it out. That's about how I like my eyebrows where it kind of still has its natural form but it just filled in a little bit more. I like that pencil, it blended in pretty good, and um, you know, I, I think it's a good formula, it's really creamy, and um, the spoolie, of course, is just like an average spoolie. That was the Unibrow Universal Eyebrow Pencil, and it's by Winky Lux again. The price is $12, that's really good actually for an eyebrow pencil, um, that's probably less than average than what normally eyebrow pencils would be at least like the more brand name ones um the next product that is in the box is this bare minerals invisible light translucent powder duo and it looks like there's two uh different types of setting powders they're both translucent powders except one is a matte and the other one is supposed to have um, the glow feature it's supposed to be a little bit more luminous in the finish So I'm just gonna open up the box so you can see what the actual powders look like and I absolutely hate opening the boxes because They're so packed tight in there, which is good because they're secure um, But it's just so hard to open the box and you kind of have to like destroy the box to get to the product so to start out the um, powder it comes in a nice sleek black uh, lit or packaging and then once you open it up this is the powders this side is the glow and it does say glow and the other side is matte so I'm just gonna pick up a brush and try out the powders to see what the finish is like I'm just picking up the matte one to kind of just brush it all over and see if I see any type of difference in the finish. And um, it actually it feels nice on the skin. I don't feel anything. When I feel the product in the palette, it kind of feels weird like it's like 
one of those styrofoam, um, like if you've had like a styrofoam cup, I guess you could say, and that's what it feels like the outside. It is pretty silky, but it just feels so weird. It's just something that's different than a lot of setting powders. I guess also I use more translucent setting powders that are loose. So it's been a while since I've had an actual firm setting powder. So I'm just going to touch the um, glow one and see if I see any difference with that. I'm just going to kind of brush it to the higher points of my cheeks where I would normally put my highlighter. I do have some on from the day, but I'm just going to try that on to see if I see anything. And I don't see any type of difference. I think it's strictly supposed to be a setting powder. So, but as far as the finish, I mean, I don't feel anything extra on my face or anything heavy. It did brush on pretty easily and it blended into my skin easily as well. And it is a smooth formula. It's not like grainy or anything like that. It's pretty smooth. Um, so that Bare Minerals Duo, it is um, $32. The next product that I see in the box is this um, lipstick and it's from a brand that I recognize and I love a lot um, and it's the ColourPop. It's the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip and this is in the color Beeper and um, I actually really love ColourPop products because they're affordable and they're good quality. Um, you know, a lot of times when you see brands that have affordable or low price um, products, you kind of get what you pay for and they're low quality. But ColourPop is different than that. Um, everything that I've tried from them has been good quality from their shadows to their lipsticks. Um, I haven't purchased anything from them in a while. That's just because I haven't bought any makeup um, in a while. But this is what the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in Beeper looks like. And this is such a nice color. It looks like it's pinkish in the bottle or in the tube. But I think once you put it on, it um, is a little bit deeper than that. I have been wearing this for the past few days just to try it out and it actually has a very very different formula than all the other lipsticks that I've tried from them. Um, I do have a few of the ultra matte lipsticks and they came in a holiday collection and they're mini so I'm not sure if that makes a difference but they this one ends up to be a little bit smoother so naturally um just like most lipsticks or liquid lipsticks or lip glosses it comes with a doe foot activator um this one has a little dip so it kind of holds a lot of the product and that way um you're able to you know kind of fill most of your lips before you have to dip into the tube again so i do have some lip balm on right now i'm just gonna wipe that off I'm going to try the lipstick. Um, so that's about two dips into the tube and that's strictly because I just um, didn't dip that much in the first time that I dipped it into the tube. So my brush was a little bit dry, I just needed to go back in so it can moisturize. Right now, um, the lipstick is pretty moussey as far as the formula. Um, it does have a little bit of stick, it hasn't dried down quite yet, but the first um, application, the first coat is pretty moussey and smooth, it just slides on. Whereas a lot of the other um, ultra matte lips, the ones that I have at least, like I said, I don't know if it makes a difference as far as the formula, um, but to me there is a difference because this one is more moussey and glides on to your lip, whereas the other one, it's it's like a thinner formula and it just kind of wets your lips and then it's like 
suddenly so dry and your lips turn a little flaky and dry and you can see the cracks and lines in your lips which that part as far as seeing the lines in your lips is a normal matte liquid lipstick or matte lipstick type of deal um, but there are a lot of them that make it a little bit more comfortable and I feel that this one is one of those um, it's a, a little bit more comfortable on the lips and um, it has a smoother, moussier formula, and it's still drying down. It does have a little bit of stick to it, so I'm just waiting for that to dry down so I can kind of show you um, whether it's transfer proof or what it actually looks like once it's dry. Um, as you can see, it's drying out pretty good. The color is more on the mauve nude side rather than a pinky nude side, so this can actually go with anything or any skin tone, I believe, um, because it has that little bit of mauve, um, kind of towards the brown, depending on your skin tone. Um, I've seen people with lighter skin tone, lighter than me, where this looks darker on them, and um, I've seen ladies who are deeper than me who put this on and it looks a bit lighter, so it blends in pretty well. Um, I'm actually really satisfied with this color and also the formula. Like I said, I keep saying the formula is just so good. It feels different than any of the other ones that I've tried. So I'm actually really feeling this formula. So it seems like the formula dried down pretty well. It took about two to three minutes and we'll just, maybe about two minutes. So let's just see if um, it's transfer proof. All right, so I do see some transfer, but I don't think it's dried down quite well. So let's just wait a couple more seconds. Normally once we put on lipstick, we don't just go eating right away. We kind of give it time to set. So I'm just going to go through that. So while we're waiting, I'm just gonna go on to the next product and um, we'll go back to the lipstick once it's dry. So the next one is this uh, Project Beauty Spray Set Go, and this is a setting spray. It looks like it's two fluid ounces, so it's a little bit bigger. It's an ounce more than a standard foundation. This is a frosted plastic bottle. You can kind of squeeze the bottle, so that's how it is plastic. It's very comfortable, it feels sturdy, and it has this lacquered top. And once you take it off, the standard nozzle. So um, I think this is a good size. It looks like it'll last. Um, you can make these minis last. It's a good travel size. So I think this will work out well. I'm going to just spray a couple sprays out so I can make sure that the initial um, toughness of the nozzle kind of goes away. All right. So I'm just going to spray it around and I'm going to do it just like the YouTubers, make it a little bit glamorous. And it has a nice spritz and it does saturate your face pretty well. Um, my face feels very, very saturated. Um, fortunately, you can't see it looking soaked but it feels soaked. And um, the smell kind of is like glue. It doesn't smell that pleasant at all. But as far as the setting spray, it feels good. It feels refreshing. I can feel it kind of like wrapping up my makeup and just kind of pulling everything together. Um, you know, a lot of times you want to use a setting spray. If you look cakey, you can kind of spray the setting spray and it'll kind of relax the makeup so it all just meshes in together um, and also setting sprays you can get them depending on what kind of skin you have there's hydration setting sprays and there's also oil control setting sprays such as like D slick there's photo focus setting sprays which would be like the wet and wild right here that I have and this is almost done so I made this last for a while setting spray it's again by Project Beauty and the price is $32, which is a little pricey, but 
I mean, yeah, it's pretty pricey for this size because, like, if you look at the, let's see, so this one is two fluid ounces, and this one by Wet n Wild is 1.52 fluid ounces, and obviously this one is shorter, but it's only a little bit less product than this. And this has lasted me for a while, and it was only about, I think, like, three, four dollars. I was gonna say the other hand, but I have the swatches on here. So let's try it again. And there's no transfer. So it does take a little bit to dry down. Um, that's standard with any liquid lipstick, so I don't think that's a huge issue. Um, but... I think that it's such a great product, it feels good on the lips, it's a great color, and also um, it's a good price. I believe the price for this, um, the Ultra Matte Lip by Colourpop, it's $6. And that is absolutely amazing because, you know, standard liquid lipsticks on, you know, for other brands, bigger brands, just like Colourpop, are about $20 plus. So I would say that this is a, a steal. So that was the last of my BoxyCharm items that I received for the month. Um, I just wanted to make sure you guys can get the scoop on what's going on with my BoxyCharm. Um, again, I'll be doing one every month of my BoxyCharm just to reveal the products and do like a first impression on the products that I received. Um, I want to thank you guys for joining me today. and. Um, thank you for your support. If you're new, welcome to my channel. I really appreciate you visiting and I would really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe so you can stay tuned to see more of my videos because there will be some more. If you're like an older um, subscriber or an older friend family of mine, um, I really appreciate you supporting me and um, thank you again.